Welcome back ladies and gentlemen to Skyrim Special Edition. My name's Camel and today we have a guide for the very first unique item that I ever found in Skyrim, all the way back in late 2011, the Dragon Priest Mask, Croesus. A powerful mask and one of the Dragon Priest Masks you may want to have with you at all times. So to get Croesus, all we need to do is come to Sheer Point, found in the mountains to the northeast of Whiterun. As we approach, we will notice a dragon wall with a dragon atop it. Soon enough, that very dragon will take flight and fight. And shortly after, Croesus will awaken, and like a hungover adult, he's pissed we woke him up. Not only is a fight with a dragon priest and a dragon hard, but Croesus has an array of skills and abilities that make this fight really difficult for any player that isn't of a high level. He's a frost-based dragon priest and uses frost-based destruction skills. He will also summon frost atronarchs, use greater wards combined with ebony flesh, making him hard to kill with physical damage or magical damage. Along with his frosty wizardry, he wields a snarf of fireballs which deals 40 points of damage in a 15-foot explosion. He also harnesses the spell command Daedra, so whatever ungodly creature you summon, he'll take control of it and use it against you. All the while, he levitates backwards and strafes side to side, making it hard to actually hit him with any attacks. So sheer point deaths ain't no safe space, sucker. So bring a follower, bring fire and frost resistant potions, and bring stim packs to shove into your eyes just before you die, you know, to take the edge off. But once Croesus has been slain, go over to his steaming pile of purple ashes and be sure to grab the mask out of his inventory. Let's check it out. So, Croesus is a light armor headpiece. Its slot is, of course, the old head there. It has a base armor rating of 21, a weight of 5, a value of 1,615. It can be upgraded with an iron ingot. However, it is required that you have the Daedric smithing perk to upgrade it. And its enchantment, lockpicking, Archery and Alchemy are 20% better. And in case you're wondering, yes, I do have a mod that improves the look of Dragon Priest masks, hence why the one in game looks different to the one in the picture. Now given that very useful and fairly powerful triple enchantment, Croesus is an excellent choice of headgear for any thief or assassin based character. And while it works very well with those playstyles, it is also a great item to carry with you regardless of what kind of character you play, as everyone will be picking locks, so having Croesus in your inventory as an instant and easy way to boost up your lock picking by 20% is super helpful. And although you might not be cooking up potions 24-7, unless that's what you're into, Croesus is again a very useful to have with you as an easy way to boost your alchemy skill by 20% for when you do want to cook up some potions. And of course, a 20% boost to archery is obviously useful to anyone who is watching a H3H3 video, as shots will be fired. Just like a circle all round, Croesus is a pretty damn good headpiece, especially if you can get it early on in the game. It will serve you long and well, like Tupperware. Croesus in the dragon tongue means sorrow, which is a perfect summary of the fight with Croesus. Croesus is also the only dragon priest mask that is not associated with a dungeon. And just as a little tip, if you are willing to brave the fight with Croesus to get Croesus very early on in the game, Going to Sheer Point before completing the quest Dragon Rising will result in there being no dragon atop the wall, making the fight notably easier. Croesus is also the punchline to this. What did the ornithologist say to their sister? That's a crow, sis. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. I've been Camel, and this has been my guide for the unique dragon priest mask in Skyrim known as Croesus. I do hope this video helped you out in some way at the very least. And if it did, and you're interested in checking out some other Skyrim Special Edition guides, individual links to the other guides I've already done can be found in the description of this video. Down there is also a link to my Twitter page. Please consider following me to guarantee you are notified when I upload a new video, or you can click the bell icon next to the subscribe button. To, of course, turn on on notifications for Camel Works. Please consider supporting the channel by liking, sharing, and commenting. Check out the plays on screen. And if you'd like to see more videos similar to this one, be sure to subscribe. Thanks very much for watching. Thanks for supporting the channel. It's been a pleasure as always, and I will see you very shortly in the next video. I'll see you there in a minute.